Hello, everybody. Um, this is going to be the first in my series of uh, more serious commentaries to do with uh, current issues that are going on in basically any field. Um, generally, they're going to be somewhat related to um, global issues or uh, things going on um, in technology, which I would know more about. Um, I can speak a little bit for politics and stuff, but uh, if we're going to talk about like world hunger or something, I can't really say much for that. So, we're going to start out this first uh, first little episode, sort of talk, in the series by talking about um, sort of a reality check between our nations in the first world and why the fuck are we being so worried about all these things that are going on. We have uh, recently had the whole scandal with SOPA, um, and ACTA, and PIPA, and whatever the fuck else they tried to pass. Like There were a lot of fucking bills that people were claiming would take away their uh, freedoms. That's what people were trying to say. They were trying to say that, oh look, SOPA, oh look, ACTA, we're gonna lose all our freedom, we're gonna get fucking shot. It's bad. And then, or something, not, not that severe, I mean like, SOPA and ACTA and PIPA or whatever the other one was, ACTA I think actually got passed. Don't call me out on it, but I'm pretty sure it did. Um, actually, I'm almost 100 percent sure it did. The um, the truth of the matter is that it's it's just okay. You can't pirate your copy of X Men First Class anymore. Okay, who the who, who the hell gives a fuck? Honestly, if if you're gonna be making that argument, it basically means that you pirated stuff. Um, there are other things like websites being shut down. Um. Like, I'm not happy about... You know, let me rephrase myself. Um, media... Sorry, Mega Upload getting shut down. That That's completely uncalled for. It's bad. Having to be shut down. That's just not cool. Um, that whole thing that happened. The, these laws, I'm not agreeing with them in any way. I'm just saying, realistically, they're not massive issues to anyone except for you, because now you can't listen to Jay-Z on your iPod without getting arrested. Uh, that is if you pirated it. Unless you bought it on iTunes, which is completely overpriced. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I, I have pirated, I think, a few songs here and there in my life. Um, but, whatever. Honestly, I, I, I do buy a lot of music on discs and stuff, and I've bought almost every game that I own. Except for ones that I've inherited off of friends. Um... So, yeah, that's good. Anyway, so... And then there's going to be also... They're trying to propose... Um, let me give you a little bit of background first. They had this guy named Jack Thompson, right? A couple of years ago, started protesting Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Counter-Strike. Those three games, relatively violent games, uh, not near the top of the spectrum anymore, as Manhunt and Saints Row when things have come out, which just glorify violence even more... But I'm all for that, obviously. The, um... He was really, really dumb. He, his requests were unreasonable. And he eventually lost his license to practice law after suing Grand Theft Auto 4. So now some other fucking moron is coming into government to, um... To coming to the government, rather, to try to pass a bill that says, Okay, you know what? We are going to tax M-rated video games. Yay! And not just M-rated video games, because they're violent. We're also going to tax teen-rated video games, because they're violent. And any other game that contains any form of violence. This includes cartoon violence, animated blood, and those kinds of things that you can generally find in E or E10 title. To which I say, fuck you, good sir. Fuck you. You're a moron. But you know what is even stupider than all this? They're saying that these video games are going to be causing more violence and stuff. That's why we have to tax them. Then what the fuck are we doing? We have a lot bigger issues in the world like than taxing games who think that they cause violence. First of all, the violence is not directly caused by the game. Okay? People are born 
being psychopathic weirdos and fucking maniacs, okay? People are born that way. People can become that way, but generally it's pretty much set in stone by the environment they're in, which does have video games in it. Guess what it also has? It also has drugs, alcohol, which is also a drug, obviously, cigarettes, things like that. Guess what? Whatever. In BC, you can go and light up a joint on the side, like, on the side of the road. No one gives a fuck. They just make you throw it out. If you have any, if the police see you. Unless you're a dealer, in which case they'll arrest you. Alcohol, like, yeah. You have to pay a duty on it when you cross the border, okay? Maybe. Maybe that's an issue. Maybe they're doing something about it. But realistically, they're marketing it on TV as if it's necessary to have a good time, okay? It, it's, real, it's unrealistic. It's stupid. It could just completely ruin your life. So will cigarettes. Cigarettes are 100% proven to cause cancer. So that's that's incriminating. That's also just as bad. So why do we have that on store shelves? I know that it is taxed. But it will kill you. And it will kill others. And it is still allowed on store shelves. But I can't buy a copy of Grand Theft Auto without paying extra tax. In that game, I can shoot at digitized people. Oh, fucking Jesus, but if I walk along the street smoking a cigarette, then I can possibly kill real people with secondhand smoke, people who are elderly, people who are younger. That can be directly affected by that smoke in very harmful ways. They can get, like, bronchitis and other illnesses in the lungs and die. I could potentially kill real people with something that people are saying is legal. But yet, I can't go and buy Halo without paying a tax. I can't go and shoot at digitized aliens. But yet, I can go and crash into a tree because I've been drinking too much, because that's what Budweiser says. But I can't go and buy a copy of Quake without paying tax. The problem with this is, is that these games are just fuel for stupid fucking people that want to be psychopaths. If they're raised in an abusive family and they get their hands on Grand Theft Auto, turns out that that is going to fuel their anger, but that does not start it. People are saying that the video games cause the problem. They don't. They're not used responsibly. The ratings are telling people how to use them responsibly. But yet, we're still having issues. The labels are supposed to tell people not to give this to people who are mentally unstable. Not to give this to people who have seizures. Not to give this to people who will not use it responsibly. But people still do. And who do they blame? The people that make the game. Video games are just one fuel. Alcohol is a fuel. Drugs are a fuel for violence. The ability to obtain weapons. Abuse. Sex. All these things are fuels more than video games. Okay? The second problem with this is, is that movies that are equally as violent, like Human Centipede, is worse than Halo. But what the hell is going to get taxed? Halo's going to get taxed. Want to know why? Because in Halo, they think that you are shooting people. But for some reason, watching a crazy psychopath guy literally fuse people together anus to mouth will not get taxed but shooting at aliens to save humanity will okay there's not real people in halo you don't get to see them as real people okay they have human voices they have human voice actors okay that makes them on the same level as a movie movies actually do you you see real people in movies you see real people doing real things Okay? So that's definitely a lot more dangerous for a developing mind. But again, what's going to get taxed? Oh, Portal's going to get a tax. You know, it's it's rated T. Portal 1, that is, not Portal 2. I think that's rated 10. That's going to get a tax. But you know what's even stupider than this? Well, we're over here in the first world kibitzing about things when we're supposed to have everything figured out, when we're supposed to have all of the answers. There are people getting murdered in Sudan. We're worried about our kids' developing minds. Don't worry about the people in Sudan. No, no, no. 
They'll give their kids AKs and drugs, force them to fight, and make them charge a fucking minefield. How would you like to be injected with cocaine and then told to hack off your friends' and family's limbs? And we're defending that same audience in our side of the world by worrying about the rating on a video game. By worrying about tax on a video game. Okay? We're supposed to have this shit figured out. But we aren't intervening on this. We're over here worrying about literally things that only apply to us. We have bigger world issues. And, like, Somalia is a huge issue. A lot of these areas in Africa are fucked. They're just fucked. Rwanda was was happening not, not too long ago within most people's lifespans. And we didn't intervene on that because we were too busy kibitzing about other first world problems. Okay? If we have everything figured out, we shouldn't be having problems. We should be helping people. Not worrying about why we can't go to the store and buy some game without having to pay a tax. Why did somebody even bring that shit up? Why would you say, oh, okay, you know what? Kids under 10, they shouldn't be playing Grand Theft Auto. When kids under 10 in another country are shooting at each other. When kids under 10 in another country are getting raped, okay? All of this is pointless. Let's go deal with something important before we start worrying about all this shit. Okay? Worrying about, oh, I pirated X-Men. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. Oh, I used YouTube. I know I'm on YouTube here. Okay? But there are bigger issues. There are a lot bigger issues. Reality check, people. There's a whole world to worry about. 